Hi, I'm Randy Vance, and thanks for joining me today on my dock. Now, what I'm going to be doing is a stereo upgrade. Now, the system I had in my boat is going on four years old. While it still is all perfectly functional, the speakers have been out on the weather all that time and are starting to show some of the effects of that. I also want to upgrade it, increasing the amp power and getting a better boom out of my subwoofer. So what we did was we went to the folks at Kicker and asked them what they thought we should do. Well, the first thing they suggested, since I wanted more subwoofer power, is more powerful amplifier. They suggested the KMXA 900.5. Now the beauty of this amplifier is it's basically three amplifiers in one. You've got a zone one amplifier, a zone two amplifier, and a zone three or the subwoofer amplifier. That's perfect for this setup. I'll use zone one on the lower speakers. I'll use the subwoofer or zone three for the sub, and I'll use zone two for the upper speakers. Now since space was limited in the hard top, we went with the KM65 six and a half inch speakers. These are LED lighted. Each speaker comes with both a gunmetal and a white grill, and we'll be using the white grills. They perfectly fit the holes from the old speakers, so there's no adjustments there necessary, except to add the terminals to connect the speakers. Now the next element in our refit are the KMXL 8-inch speakers. These are 4-ohm speakers, but there's a special feature. They're called horn-loaded speakers, and that's because there's an equitangential horn in every speaker. You don't just have a tweeter dome. You have a tweeter-powered horn that gives you a full range of rich tones, and it's surrounded by a woofer to give you those deep bass tones. Now, these 8-inch speakers are far more robust than the old ones, and they required a little bit bigger hole. But we could use the KSLR LED rings, and that set those speakers out a half an inch, that makes the cage around those speakers fit the hole without any additional cutting. Now these speakers also use Deutsch connectors and they have a built-in LED RGB controller. All we had to do was connect that harness to the old speaker wires and we were ready to go. Now the last speaker element on this project is Kicker's KMF10 4 ohm subwoofer. This is a very robust subwoofer, has a larger cage and we did have to widen the hole on this install here. It's LED lighted and comes with white, which we're using, and a gunmetal grill, which we're not. Finally, we got to the amp. The existing controller, a radio if you will, had all the outputs labeled so we could easily move the RCA output cables to the appropriate inputs on the new amp. Before we connected the speakers, we made gain adjustments to the amp. Here's how. On the controller, we adjusted all the tone and balance settings to neutral. We raised the volume on each zone to 75%. Earlier, we downloaded test tones from Kicker's website to a USB drive and plugged them into the controller. For zones one and two, our upper and lower speaker sets, we dialed down the gain on each zone to zero and set the crossover filters to off. Then we played the high frequency tone for zone one and two, and we individually adjusted the gain dials hidden on the front of the amp until they lit up. Then we back them down just until they went off. That properly sets the controller output to the speakers. To adjust the sub, we dial down the gain to zero and set the high and low frequency crossovers to their highest settings. We played the low 50 kilohertz frequency tone for the sub and gradually turned up the gain until the adjuster knob lighted. Then we backed it off again until the light went out. It's now time to connect the speakers. The E-Box above provided tight quarters for mounting and ultimate adjusting the amp, so we fabricated a bracket that eased securing and removing the amp. We glued it down with polyurethane adhesive. Once we got all of the zones named, top, deck, and subwoofer, then I went in and adjusted the volume of each. What I wanted to do was balance this speaker here so close to our heads with those lower on the deck. I wanted to take full advantage of those horn-loaded speakers. Then we brought in the subwoofer at a level that was pleasing and had a pretty good thump. Now the whole danger of this system is that when you get it all finished, you're pretty proud of it and you really want to crank it up and around here you know how noise travels over the water. So we headed out, turned on some Aerosmith, some Kenny Loggins, cranked it up, listened to the wind and the waves, and some really good rock and roll. I'm Randy Vance for Kicker Marine Audio and that's how you put in a stereo.